Hey guys, Sinister here. I'm back with Invading Annex Part 5 today and you guessed it, it's the big one. It's the transport pilot. It is the role that everyone wants to play and that a lot of people struggle with getting started um, and it is probably one of the most impactful roles in the game. Let's be real. Um, it's also one of the most difficult roles in the game to get through. Um, as a result of that, this series is going to be essentially in three parts. Um, the first part will be basically learning to fly. So the server I play on, the Invade Nanex server I play on is the Stray Gaming server. It is not a training server. So you will get banned and or blacklisted from the pilot role if you go into that server and try to fly and you've never done it before. So the idea behind this series is to give you a getting started. So learning how to fly with absolutely no experience using a keyboard and mouse and a default controller setup. Um, the second part will be then improving your flying, how to, you know, do a bit more advanced maneuvers and basically, you know, be a competent pilot. And then the third part will be applying all your skills in a practical situation on the server. So the reason for breaking it down this way is pretty simple. Um, if you go onto any public Discord server or ask any pilot in the game how to get started as a transport, they will tell you, use the editor. So I'm going to show you exactly what that means, how to get started, and some of my suggested tips. The second part then, if you know how to fly, will then be a couple of scenarios that I have downloaded off the workshop and that I have used extensively to practice my piloting skills. And then the third part will be the really good stuff where you guys get to see how to actually apply this on a day-to-day -day basis in Invade Nanix. Um, yeah, so the time it takes for this role to be practiced, it's it's pretty hard to put into words. Um, I probably spent close to two months, um, a couple of hours a day or at least an hour a day for approximately four to six weeks learning to fly. Um, I didn't just learn to fly the small planes. I learned to fly some of the medium sized planes as well. Um, and then I learned how to sing load and eventually move on to some kind of more advanced landing slash movement techniques. Um, it will be different for everyone, but like I said, I'm going to go through learning this from scratch because when I started to learn to fly, I found that the resources on YouTube were people using joysticks, they were using HOTAS, they were outdated, but also they were also using custom settings. And they were like, oh, these are the settings you need to use to be a good pilot. Lo and behold, uh, I, I disagree. To play on Evade Nanix, you do not need to have a specific setup. You can be successful. So with all of that in mind, I will see you on the other side and we'll get started. Okay, you want to learn to fly and you don't know where to get started. Someone has told you to log into the editor and that's where to get started but you have no idea how to get into the editor, what it is and what you should be doing. So let's walk through it together from absolute knowing nothing to becoming a pretty decent pilot. So to get into the editor, you just basically log into your armor launcher as per usual and you click play. All right, you've made it into the home screen. I want to recognize this at this stage. There's two ways to edit, to access the editor from here. <laughs> First one is the big editor button here on the right hand side, or you can go into single player and editor. They both bring you to the same screen. So depending on the amount of DLC or downloadable content you have, don't forget to check out my video, by the way, um, you need to click, you will have most likely Altus, um, Stratus and virtual reality. Um, you will most likely have Tanoa as well if you bought the Apex DLC. So for the purpose of this video and for most Invade and Annex maps you're going to play, you are going to want to select Altus. Bearing in mind, it does default to Stratus, so make sure you select Altus and click continue. Okay, you're gonna be greeted with this super, super scary screen and it is extremely intimidating the first time you enter it. Do not worry, we're not gonna do anything here. All we are going to do is press M on your keyboard. So that's M for mic, which brings up our map. And as you can see, there is a camera button here. So we are going to zoom out, use our mouse right button and navigate to the airbase. So this is the airbase right here. It is pretty much in the middle of the map, right here. You are gonna click go here, and then you're just gonna, you're gonna exit the map 
and you are at the airfield. Amazing. Okay, so what now? And why the airfield? Well, the reason you want to choose the airfield is because when you log into an Invade and Annex server and you become a transport pilot, you are most likely going to start from this location. So learning to fly from this location so you can orientate yourself around the map at the same time makes the most sense. It doesn't make sense to learn this anywhere else. This is the easiest place to learn it. Um, and also all the scenarios that I'm going to link in my second video are going to be based off this airfield as well. So it just makes perfect sense for you to start here. Okay, so you've made it to the airbase. You're like, okay, what now? Very, very simple. On the right hand side, you have all of these screens. None of these matter. Minimize men, maximize helicopters, and we're gonna start with the easiest and smallest helicopter to handle in the game. No doubt you'll have seen it somewhere because loads of people like flying this thing. You get the MH9 Hummingbird. You drag it to the middle of your screen. It does not matter where. And you click play scenario. This is all you have to do. All right, so we've spawned in the helicopter, as you can see. So before we get this started, just to show you guys, I am using the default player loadout controls for helicopters. I'm gonna press escape, options, controls, helicopter movement. These are the standard default controls. So you do not need to take any notes. You do not need to write anything down here. I am literally going to go through it from scratch with you. So grab a beer, have some popcorn, and we're gonna get started into the video very shortly. Okay, my very first tip in this video is gonna be a controversial one, but this is my honest advice for new players who have never played it before and have never been in a helicopter before. Do not learn to fly in first person, learn to fly in third person and slowly learn to move your way into first person from there. To enter third person, as we discussed in my first video, press enter on your numpad. If you do not have a numpad, you will need to rebind that key. Um, let's just check in settings where it is. Um, so it's in the keyboard controlled view and it's toggle view is enter. So as you can see for me, if I press enter on my keyboard, I move to third person. Okay, so we've made it to third person. Um, before we even do anything else, we're just gonna try and get bearings of our, our helicopter. We wanna see how big it is or you know any dimensions of it. So pressing the left alt button and rotating your mouse will enable you to free look around your helicopter. So as you can see, um, it's a pretty small helicopter. It can fit, I think it's eight people in total, including the pilot and the co-pilot. Um, and ha it's, it's uh, wingspan or its ro rotary span is pretty much double just the width of the helicopter. So the biggest risk when trying to land or maneuver this helicopter is clearly going to be the big rotors on top of it. So let's not take off just yet. Let's just start the engine. Press shift, the left shift key on your keyboard to start the rotors. And we'll let the rotors start. Nothing's gonna happen. The helicopter will not lift off by itself. I'm not holding shift, I've tapped the shift key just to get the rotor started, okay? Sorry guys, I had to a quick cut there to uh, reduce the volume. I couldn't hear myself speak, which was a bit awkward. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I've just tapped shift. The helicopter is not gonna pick up or lift off by itself. So in order to get the helicopter just to lift off the ground without moving, we're just gonna press shift. So basically at this moment in time, the, the, rotator, the, the rotors on the helicopter at full um, ro rotation essentially. So if I press shift, the plane is just gonna go, or the helicopter is just gonna go straight up in the air. I have not done anything else other than press one key so far. Okay, so we've taken off, brilliant. How do we get back down on the ground? We press Z. Z will descend. 
So you slowly press Z, tapping Z, tapping Z, tapping Z. Perfect. We've hit the ground. Okay, excellent. We know how to take off. We know how to land. What are next steps? Next steps are moving forward and backwards. Again, let's go up in the air. So um, we'll go up about 10 meters. Perfect, exactly 10 meters. So as you can see on the top left hand side, we are currently 10 meters off the ground. To move forward, tap W, which will rotate the helicopter forward. Now, in order to balance the helicopter off, you will need to press S. So as you can see, I'm now at 30 kilometers an hour and I'm slowly moving forward. I will need to go backwards by pressing S to slow down. Now, we're gonna leave the helicopter in this position and it's gonna go backwards. So that's moving forwards and backwards. So let's just even it out. Um, as a new pilot, if you're struggling to even out your helicopter, just press X to press auto hover and it will automatically have your helicopter in this position, take off auto hover and then you can descend. Perfect. Okay, so we're now back on the ground. So we have learned to take off with shift. We have learned to descend slash land with Z. We move forward by tilting our helicopter forward by using W. And we've learned to go backwards or slow down by tilting the helicopter backwards with S. We've also learned to auto hover, which just basically balances your helicopter. Not recommended because once you go into auto hover, you it's very hard to control your helicopter because it's fully AI oriented then, so not recommended. But if you're struggling to get yourself back to an even kind of um, altitude and level, just press X, tap it to get your get yourself back on track. Okay, um, what do we do now? How do we turn? How do we get to where we want to do whatever? Easy. We're gonna press shift. We're gonna ascend to about 10 meters uh, or 12 meters currently. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to press the, if you want to just basically look right and left, you press Q to uh, rotate left and press E to rotate right. Now these will only work while you're stationary and as you can see I have slightly moved to the left and right hand side. Um, these will not work when you're at high speed so don't, um, don't try these when you're at high speed. But these are just basics, again I'm just going to auto hover to stand still um, and then left and right. Back down on the ground, descend. Perfect. Okay, we have learned to take off, we've learned to land, we've learned to move left, and we've learned to move right at low speeds. This is the perfect starting guide to flying a helicopter in Arma 3. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take a quick lap of the grassy area here in the helicopter, and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press shift to gain altitude, we'll go to about 10 meters. Perfect, 11 meters, 13 meters, fine, right? Then you wanna press W to shift your nose slightly forward. You don't wanna shift it forward a lot, press W once. Once is absolutely fine and you'll gain speed. You can use Alt and your mouse to look around. And then as you hit the corner, press E, 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 tap E and just press D to compensate. As, as you begin to drag, press D to compensate, okay? Now we're going 40 kilometers an hour, that's a bit fast. Slow down, press S to slow down, lift your nose up, slow down. Okay, we're at 20 kilometers an hour, this is perfect. Just keep 20 kilometers an hour. We're getting to the next corner, gonna tap E, 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 turning right, turning right, turning right. We're dragging to the left now, compensate, D. Perfect, we're at, this is perfect. Okay, shift forward a small bit by pressing W to gain a bit of speed. Okay, we're moving, we're still moving a bit to the left, so let's just press D to compensate a little. Okay, we're going a bit fast now as well. So we're going 35 kilometers an hour. I suggest doing this to 20 kilometers an hour when you're starting off, okay? So just press S to slow down a little bit. 20 kilometers an hour, this is perfect, okay? And now we're pressing E, 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 E. We're turning, we're turning, we're dragging to the left, compensate with D. Oh, amazing. Okay, so now we move forward. Do the last part of the track. We're going 30 kilometers an hour. Press S to lift up your nose to slow down. 30 kilometers an hour. We're getting to the last corner here. Gonna press E, E, E. Keep tapping it. Don't hold it. Just tap it. Make it easy for yourself. Tap, tap, tap it. We're dragging to the left. Press D to compensate. I tapped it once. All right, so we're now we're exactly where we wanna be. We're pretty much not moving. Tap our nose forward slowly go down z z 
z z z z z z z z z slow down by pressing s lift your nose up a little bit and perfect now you've got a perfect landing so what do you do now what's well, easy you have the basics of flight now this is the basics of helicopter flight in arma 3. the reason we're starting off with q and e is because they only work at low speeds you're going to be replacing q and e with a and d when you're in high speed situations or higher speed situations but we're using them now to compensate to the over the over pull of the q and e which turns you left and turns you right okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat this for 20 minutes 20 minutes that's all you need to do 10 meters up 20 kilometers an hour go around this grass area in the airstrip and i can guarantee you you'll be a significantly better and more comfortable pilot in 20 minutes than you were when you started just go here, e e e e e e e e e e compensate. Perfect. Slow down. Land. That's it. There is no more to learn for the absolute basics of helicopter. Take off, land, move forward, turn left and right. That is it. Now we're going to go into what you should do next. When you're feeling confident in this, let's learn how to fly higher and move a bit easier all right guys welcome back i'm going to assume that you've done your 20 minutes of flying around the airfield and um, what you're going to do now is we're going to take off we're going to go a little bit higher we'll go to say maybe 100 meters in the air just straight up i haven't pressed any other buttons just waiting pressing shift 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 um, we're at 80 meters now so i'm going to start moving my my helicopter forward moving those forward which means we're going to start gaining speed all right, so we're getting speed. So what do we do now? Well, first of all, we should probably let our plane, our helicopters even out a little bit. As you can see, if I don't press any buttons, so I have stopped pressing my W key now, the plane will automatically level out and basically it will stay at the same speed. So what we want to do at this point is we want to press, if we want to go left, we press A. The, it will go left, but it will also lose altitude. So to keep the altitude going up, just tap S. Tap, 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 tap. And as you can see, the plane, the helicopter is now going in a perfect 360 degree angle to the left. If you want to even out, press D. And just, I have no hands on the keyboard right now. I'm not doing anything. I'm completely flat. My plane is, or my helicopter is slowly moving forward. And if I want to go right, I press D. I tap, 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 S, tap, 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 tap. And now I'm going in a perfect 360 degrees to the right. So this is your basic maneuvers. So this is, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna even up. I'm gonna take my hands off the keyboard. I now have no hands on the keyboard. My plane will even out by itself. It will slow down and it will even out by itself. If we go forward, the plane will slowly lose altitude, but go faster. In order to keep it, to stop it from losing altitude, hold the left shift button. So by holding left shift, holding left shift and pressing the w key which is moving your nose forward as you can see on the left hand side my my helicopter is now at its max speed of about 240 kilometers an hour but it's keeping a height of about 500 meters if you just take your i'm about to take my finger off the sh left shift key and i press w as you can see the altitude is while my my helicopter is continuing to gain speed my my altitude is continuing to decline so then when you're turning, you need to keep this same idea in mind, except you don't need to use the shift key anymore if you don't want to. When you're turning left, I have taken my finger off the shift key, so my, my helicopter is now losing altitude. But to compensate by that, you can just shift the nose up instead. And as you can see, I am once again staying flat and moving left and moving right. Um, if you want to continue, you know, ma maintaining a high speed, press the shift key and do this. So as you can see, I now have the shift key on and I'm gaining speed while turning. And the same, I have my finger on the shift key. I'm pressing A and tapping the S key to keep me, myself flat. And I'm now at this hummingbird's max speed, which is 250 kilometers an hour. Easy. Okay. You're, you've learned the basics of flying and you're now at, you're now going 200 kilometers an hour and you need to land on the airfield. So let's find the airfield on the map by pressing M. 
Oh, it's right in front of me. Never mind. So let's. Okay, so let's say we want to land. Let's just mark it anyway. Right? We're gonna we're gonna land here at the terminal. Okay. So it's two it's two point eight kilometers away. So I'm actually gonna go a little bit further away to demonstrate this section. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, I'm back and you may have noticed I have turned up the volume for this and the reason for that is going to become apparent very soon. So as you can see, I'm now uh, about 600 meters up in the air and I'm about four kilometers away from where I want to land. So in order to land, you want to slowly reduce the speed on the helicopter. In this case, we need to reduce altitude so we can pitch the nose forward on, on the helicopter. But if we pitch the nose forward while pressing shift, we're going to continue to gain speed. So what we want to do is take our finger off the shift button level out slightly and as you can see the sound of the rotors on the helicopter change this is called the balanced state so at this point if i press z my as you can see my altitude i am going to instantly go down whereas if i press shift i'm going to start rising so this is called the balance state. i'm now at a perfect balance state where if i press z look at my look at my uh, altitude i'm now 500 meters i press z i instantly go down this is called a balance state, so you just need to listen to your rotors. This will eventually become natural to you as you practice this more. But at this point, all I have to do is slow down. I put my nose up in the air, put my nose up in the air, and I'm pressing Z. All I'm doing here is I'm pressing Z. Now, I came from a very high altitude. You're obviously going to come from much lower altitude when you're doing this, but for this demonstration purposes, so I could talk through it, I want to come for a little bit higher. So I'm just going to land this, this helicopter now. Um, I'm 400 meters from the mark. I'm just slowly, I'm 50 kilometers an hour. I don't need to land very fast. I can land as slow as I need to. No matter what anyone says, I can go as slow as I need to here. I'm just holding Z. I've done nothing else. I press W now to level out a little bit because I don't want to go backwards. Z, Z, I'm literally holding the Z button this whole time. I haven't taken my finger off the Z key this entire time since basically we turned on this video. Okay, we're at 40 kilometers an hour, it's a bit fast, so let's lift our nose up. Still, my finger's still on the Z key. And we're gonna touch down. Perfect landing. So this time, I'm gonna mute my microphone. I'm gonna go back to about two kilometers out, and I'm gonna do it um, from a much lower altitude, and I'm gonna show you the difference between um, the sound of the rotors in the balanced state. Remember, the balanced state is where the helicopter will basically, if you press shift, it will rise, and if you press Z, it will descend. It is the perfect balanced state, and it is in. It is very easy to find in the Hummingbird. Basically, all you have to do is take your hand off the keyboard for like two seconds, and it will automatically find the balanced state. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so hopefully you guys got an idea of the difference in the sound of your rotors in that clip, where when I was going down and gaining speed, it sounded very different to when I went into that flat balance state and I could then begin to descend very, very slowly and very easily. Um, this is probably the most important part of the video. When I f discovered this balance state and realized just how easy it was to find, I became a much better pilot instantly. Because I could just instantly know when my plane was going down as opposed to up. Because I was always struggling with finding when I should be pressing shift. Which would you know raise the altitude and increase the speed of my helicopter. Or when I should be pressing Z and decreasing the speed and lowering my altitude. And once I could find that balance state where I could basically dictate that whenever I wanted. 
my job as a pilot was much easier. Okay, the last part of the editor is the next step before you start becoming a decent pilot. So I would recommend you do this step that I just showed you for maybe an hour a day for three days. So let's say three hours. So you've gone around. Your first step is doing 20 minutes um, just at a very low speed, low altitude, going around the airport. Or, yeah, going around the airport. And then the second part is getting to altitude and descending evenly, slowly, and calmly. The next part is not landing at the airport. It is finding a random spot on the map and learning to land there using all the techniques we just applied. So I'm gonna show you guys that now in the next part. All right guys, welcome back. And uh, yeah, the sound is back to normal now. Apologies about that. Um, so um, the next question you're gonna ask is, well, where do you land? And the best thing about this editor is that you have the whole island to yourself. So you can land wherever you want. So my suggestion is finding somewhere relatively close. This is a pretty good target, Military Hill here. Press shift and left click to put a mark on that location. And let's fly to it and let's land there. It's two kilometers away. So it's a perfect distance to learn to fly. So we're gaining altitude by pressing shift. We're moving our nose forward by pressing W. And we're getting to about, I think, 150 kilometers an hour is a pretty comfortable speed. So I'm now, my keys, I have no buttons on the keyboard right now. My helicopter is balancing itself out. Now I do need to go a little bit right, so I'm just gonna press D to line up with my target, okay? And so, here we are. The helicopter is now in a balanced state. If I press shift, it's going to gain altitude. If I press Z, it's gonna lose altitude. But first of all, we need to slow down. So we lift our nose up, okay? So we're, get, we're, we're losing a speed here, and at the same time, I'm pressing Z to lose altitude, okay? And you don't have to land exactly on the target land within 100 meters that's absolutely fine people can run 100 meters they're soldiers in the battlefield you do not need to be accurate just land as close to the target as possible here is a perfect example i'm 60 meters from my destination put the helicopter down perfect okay so i've done that um let's choose somewhere else oh here there's another hill hills are as you're guessing in the next section are an easier target than a flat section so let's not land on a hill um let's land on this junction this intersection right here which is three kilometers away so again gain altitude with shift put the nose forward to move forward and we're going to fly towards this area and i will cut the video and when i'm closer we'll go back guys we're back we're two kilometers out we're currently going 200 kilometers an hour that's fast enough um a big difference between this landing zone and the one we have is that we're going from a aerial position so we're we're higher than where we want to land so again i have no hands on my keyboard i'm now letting my helicopter balance itself out i'm pressing z i'm pressing a to slightly move towards my marker tapping z z z z z okay i need to slow down a little bit putting my nose up by pressing s and this whole time i'm just tapping z i'm tapping 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 S tapping 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 S tapping 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 and as you can see I'm lined up perfectly with this junction now I'm just using small controlled movements and remember that part where we were going around the airport in the very first part of this section slowly moving well this is why and here we go we're gonna land right here on this intersection all my soldiers are right in front of me and they're about to get in my helicopter and we're about to take off and we're just going to choose one more random destination. Um, let's land on the roof of this um, gas station. Obviously, don't actually do this because you're probably going to crash and kill, kill yourself. But let's just go to the roof of this gas station. So it's 1.3 kilometers away. We don't need to go very fast. We, uh, but what we can tell with this location is that there's lots of buildings in the way. So we just need to be very careful with how we approach this to make sure we don't crash into any buildings or any trees or power lines or anything like that. So we're just going to slowly make our way. We're turning, we're turning, we're turning with with um, A. We're gaining altitude a little bit by pressing shift. And as you can see, we're now 400 meters away. And we can't see our target just yet, but we know it's right around here because we've marked on the map. And here's our gas station here, 200 meters away. So we're just gonna 
S, reduce speed by pressing S, and um, I'm Z. I'm tapping Z right now. Okay, E to turn. Okay, we're. This is perfect. 10 kilometers an hour. This is all we need to do. Z, Z, Z. Reducing altitude. Slowing down with S. Z, Z. Turn slightly with D. Z, turn. And I've decided I'm not going to land on the roof because I'm too bad at being a pilot. So we're just going to land right here. And it's much, much safer. And there you go. You've now learned how to take off, hover, turn left and right, move forward, move backwards, land your helicopter, choose landing zones anywhere on the map. And from here, it just takes practice. So this was the longest part of my training part. So if we say we did um, 20 minutes on the airport doing laps in low altitude and then we did three hours um, just basically going and landing on a straight line from taking off at the airport and going back and landing at the airport I would say I did that for three hours. This, this I probably did for in excess of 20 hours to become a competent pilot and as you can see I'm not even that good like I couldn't even land on the roof of that gas station in this video so like I'm clearly not even that good. That's it for this video guys, if you have any questions as always please let me know in the comments um, and I hope you enjoyed, um, hopefully you found this insightful, um, this is a very very fun role and something that is extremely difficult to learn and I've learned it from scratch myself using the default controls with a keyboard and mouse. Part 2 will be an advanced version of this in a combat zone, um, I'll go into a bit of a disclaimer on that in the next video, um, but I'll see you in that one, see ya. Thank you.